Hello, Stephanie here. This is an updated video on how to add locations to your Facebook business page. Let's get started. So you're going, I'm going to put the link right in the description of where you need to start. You want to make sure you have a business Facebook account. So on the Facebook business manager. So once that is set up, you want, you'll, you'll go to business.facebook.com to set that up originally. And you'll land here and you'll see on the left hand side, you, you need to choose the Facebook page that you're an admin of that you want to add locations to. So you'll go ahead and click on this link on the far left up top and choose the page that you would like to get started with. So I'll click an example and this is what you're going to land on. You would need to choose your main page, then you'll add your locations and then you don't have to start using local ads. So this is just, of course, trying to push you to spend money with the Facebook ad platform, but you don't have to. But what you need to remember is that one of your pages has to be designated as essentially a brand page with no address connected. And there will be a tab that allows visitors to your page that's called locations that lets them search for a location near them. And then each of your location pages are added as sub pages underneath your main brand page. You also need to keep in mind that you can add um, pages you currently have as your sub location pages, but make sure that any page you are trying to add has the exact same name as your main brand page. You cannot add any alternate uh, alternate names, or anything of that sort. You will have the option to add um, a location specified so, uh, for example, one of my clients has locations all over Florida. So for as our specifier, we put the city name so that visitors understand that they're visiting the Beverly Hills location versus the Bradenton location, if that makes sense. So back to this, you'll get started and you'll simply make Spikefly or whatever your page, your main page. Now you'll add locations. You have a couple options here. You can manually add locations if you just have a couple and you don't already have an existing Facebook page dedicated to those locations, go ahead and click here. If you have a ton of locations and you have a spreadsheet that's already been organized, then you'll go ahead and click upload locations in the middle and it will bring in all of your information at once so you don't have to go through the tedious process of adding each individual location. The final option is to migrate an existing page. You must be an admin on any page that you wish to migrate into your account, and that page will be brought in underneath the umbrella of your main brand page. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You can just follow the prompts at this point. If you'd like to manually add a location, you'll see that you have to, oops, here we go, logged me out. Press add locations, manually add. Okay, you'll see the name section is locked. You cannot change the name because like I mentioned, all of your locations must have the exact same name. You do have to specify a store number. This is not gonna show up for your users. You don't have to worry about what you put here, but each one will have to be a different number. Here's the location descriptor. So here you can add the city name or the neighborhood name, that sort of thing. That, and that will show up along with the name of your company, but that will be in parentheses right up on top in the name of your Facebook page. Obviously enter your street information and you can enter anything else you'd like to do, um, office hours and price range, and you'll hit save. Once you add a location, it is going to show up right here where it's all currently white. You'll start getting a list of your locations. And as you go through the process, you'll have your list and you can click to edit them in the future. And it's pretty simple. Please let me know if you run into any trouble. If you have any questions, comment. I will be checking on that to see if anyone has anything that I can help with. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe for new videos on digital marketing, web design, and SEO. Thank you.